for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Brandon, the assassin baby, Moreno! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 3 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Here we go. Nice body shot there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this division. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for months. And you barely... Whoa! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on it. trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic tweet. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Under three minutes to go in round one. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Gotta be careful, arm bar.
Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the... Oh, now it's getting tight. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. I mean, how many can he take? 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Horn sound for the end of round one. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Ready? Ready? Round two is underway. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big head kick! Both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws the punch. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. Moreno gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And he landed the right hand there. <laughs> this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high for the point of the low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, straight right. Moreno's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him bad! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, side control now. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura 
just not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At three minutes, nine seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.